Hi guys, this is Emily Cupelli and for today's card I'll use the Fairy Francis stamp set from Lanfon and the So Happy stamp set from Avery L. I already die cut a pierced oval from Avery L and will prepare it for some heat embossing using my powder bag. Now we'll stamp my sentiment using my Versamark ink pad. I made sure to remove the ink from the tail of the Y since I don't want to stamp it beyond the pierced line. Then we'll add to it some of my super fine detail embossing powder in gold from Ranger. Also use a dry and clean brush to remove some of the powder that wanted to stick to that Y. Before heat setting the sentiment, I stamped the sunflower where I wanted and added some embossing powder to it as well. Now we'll go ahead and heat set it with my heat gun. Here we'll go again over my watercolor panel with my powder bag and we'll stamp the fairies using the Versamark ink pad. Then added some of the gold embossing powder and removed it from the stem of the flower. Since I already heat embossed the flower, I didn't have to worry about removing the powder from it. Also, this way I didn't have to do any fussy cutting or masking. After I heat set it with my heat gun, I thought that the bottom area of my panel was too empty. So I decided to stamp some grass on it. For this, I used the grass image in the brush bunny stamp set from Gerda Steiner Designs. I also added some gold embossing powder to it and heat set it with my heat gun. Now I'm adding some antique linen to the upper area of my oval, which would be the sky. Since the antique linen distress ink is such a light color, it is hard to get it lighter in the center. So I'll use a damped paper towel to remove a bit of ink from the center area. I'm using it almost like a blending tool, but instead of adding color with it, I'm removing some of the color. Now we'll color my images starting with the grass, for which I'm using the Shabby Shutters Distress Ink. Along with my Distress Ink pads, we'll also use my watercolor brush and some water to get a watercolor effect. Now we'll be using the Picked Raspberry Peacock Feathers, Fossilized Amber and Freight Burlap Distress Inks. For the skin of one of my fairies, we'll use the tattered rose and antique linen distress inks, and for the other one, we'll use the antique linen and vintage photo. While for the hairs, we'll use the vintage photo frayed burlaps and black suit in one of them and aged mahogany on the other. Since I already had blue in one of my fairies, I didn't want to use blue again in the wings. So I decided to use my Shaded Lilac Distress Ink, which is a light bluish purple. Remember that I always link the list of supplies in my blog. Once all the coloring is finished and dry, I'll use the Stardust Jelly Roll Pen in Clear from Sakura to add some glitter to the wings. I like to add dots of glitter with this pen to the wings of my fairies, adding some more concentrated dots on the area that is closer to the body of the fairies 
and more loose dots on the opposite side of the wings. But you can also use your wing of Stella if you prefer, or even some stickles. I totally forgot I wanted to add some dots of glitter behind the fairies, like a track of fairy dust. So I ended up adding it off camera, but you will be able to see it in the pictures. Here you can see all the sparkle and shine. Here I already die cut a scalloped oval and will add some tattered rose to its edges using a round blending tool. Now we'll add a tiny bit of antique linen around the scalloped edge. Then we'll use a wood grain embossing folder from Daris. Since I want to use the card base horizontally but want to use the folder vertically, we'll dry emboss one half first and then We'll align the folder on the other half of the card base and we'll partially emboss the rest of the front of my card base. Then glue both ovals together and then glue them to the card base. Finally, use my quarter of an inch corner chomper to round the corners of the card base. And this is my card all finished. I love how it turns out. I think the gold embossing gives it a more elegant look and the dry embossing on the white card base adds a really nice finishing touch to the card. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Don't forget to visit my blog to see the list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here is another card where I used the cute fairies I used today and two more Mother's Day cards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!